Hello scholars, welcome, Mr. Hinkle here, talking about the geological time scale. That gives us information about Earth history from its birth 4.6 billion years old all the way through to today. So we are going to discuss the development and organization of the geological time scale. So I don't know if I said it, but this is amazing. The geological time scale is the crowning achievement of geology. And all geology is viewed in terms of when it occurred in Earth's history. So this is very similar to the periodic table of the elements, how that is absolutely pertinent for everything you do in chemistry. This is it for geology. It provides a system of reference, communication for communicating, for comparing rocks and fossils throughout the history of the Earth. And it has a very specific structure. So the development of the geological time scale came with foundational concepts. First, it was principles of stratigraphy from Nicholas Steno and the principle of fossil succession from William Smith that allowed for relative age dates. This rock is older than that rock, but then was further enhanced through radiometric age dating, which was allowed for placing very specific numbers of ages of these rocks. So a lot of these names on the timescale come from the location where the rocks were discovered, Devonian, Devon, uh, Cambrian, Cambria, and then later on came the actual numbers, the timing of the events. So the geological time scale has four, maybe five key uh, time periods included in it. So the first one is called the eon. The eon goes like this. There's the Hadean. The Archean, Proterozoic, and the Phanerozoic. I just had to double check my work. All these words, it's almost like I'm speaking a different language. Now, these eons are divided by key innovations of life through time that we see. Really, complex life came on the scene in the Phanerozoic. Not so much happening in the Hadean, the Archean, a lot of time in the Proterozoic. We got the boring billion in there. Check that out, it's pretty awesome. And not as boring as you might think it is. But we could collectively call everything, or we could group the Proterozoic, Archean, and Hadean. And we call these the Pre-Cambrian. Because at the beginning of the Phanerozoic, we have the Cambrian starting eras. We're not quite there yet, but it'll make sense here soon. So eras, we're looking really at the Phanerozoic now, because this is when the story got good. And there's three of them, the Paleozoic, old life, the Mesozoic, middle life, and the Cenozoic. New life. That's where we're at now. Right now we're in the Phanerozoic, Cenozoic era. So now we're going to go over to doo -doo -doo, periods. And here we get to dial in a little bit closer. We've got more complexity. You've got different types of life that's happening. The age of the dinosaurs was during the Mesozoic. So all of these different names of periods, and here we can see Cambrian is the oldest period of the Paleozoic. So I'm going to put this here, Cambrian. We're going to highlight that because this connects to the fact that everything before is the pre-Cambrian. And in Earth's history, this is when complex multicellular life with hard parts exploded on the scene 
We have a lot of fossils that start to come on board, and the diversification of life was boom! Whoa, massive diversification event that happened during the Cambrian. It's actually called the Cambrian Explosion, thus the boom with my excitement. But we've got the periods. After periods come epics. And then if you want to dial in a little bit further, you've got ages. So the period that we're living in right now is the Quaternary. The epic is the Holocene. And I don't have the age up here. That's OK, and I don't know it off the top of my head. But ages are going to be one smaller um, branch of the geological time scale. So you put it all together. Whoa, this is the geological time scale version 6.0 given to us by the GSA, the Geological Society of America. And it goes into all of Earth's history in much more depth than I've given you here. But this is a broad overview for how we organize and we classify the history of the Earth based on various time periods. There are four main differentiations, eons, eras, periods, and epochs. You can break them out a little bit further with ages. This is the intersection of relative and radiometric age dating. It's constantly being updated and refined. This is by no means finished as we find more rocks, we discover more information about Earth's history. It's being updated, and this provides a context for understanding all of Earth's history from the moment Earth started 4.6 billion years ago all the way through to today. Thank you so much.